Welcome to Unboxing Things. We are going to unbox an e-commerce brand and share with you all the amazing thinking that's going on behind the box because we help brands make incredible packaging here at Lumi. I'm the co-founder and CEO and I've got a big old mailbox here and we're going to find out what's in there today. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh! We have Buy Humankind. Buy Humankind makes refillable daily care products that are easy on the planet and also pretty darn nice. There's something really interesting about this package right out the gate. Six by nine inch recycled paper parcel. Instead of saying Buy Humankind and all sorts of things about their ethos, there is a logo down here, but right up here, right at the top, right in your focal range, it is telling you about the package. Why do you think they're doing that? Well. I have a hunch they want you to know when this comes to your doorstep that it can be recycled. This is a very direct appeal to telling you how much intention is going on behind the package and what you ought to be doing with it as well. This form factor, while it doesn't seem extreme or super innovative, is also quite rare for an e-com package. It's not an envelope, it's definitely not a box, so what? is it? It almost looks like a lunch bag, but it has a lot more structure than that kind of material. The way we would refer to it is this is actually a Euro tote style form factor, and instead of having a handle, it actually just has a resealable flap. And the bottom is kind of that folded design you'd see on a lunch bag, a kind of paper lunch bag. This material is very different. It's much thicker. It almost has the feeling of like a carton material, kind of like more like a cereal box, an uncoated cereal box, kind of an actual cardboard material. But it is that construction that you're used to from something as simple as a lunch bag. On the back side, they leave room dominantly for the shipping label. On the flap, it says lift to open. There's also a tiny logo mark. It says BH, and that stands for Buy Humankind as well. Very tiny, really nice print fidelity. And then in the actual gusset of the bag, um, there's a website and social handles in both gussets. So they're taking every print opportunity as well to communicate to you, but really without overdoing it. Not only is this easy to pick up, easy to kind of display, it sits upright. That's another consideration. Typical shipping envelopes don't have a pure orientation, right? If you see a poly mailer, should it sit up? Should it sit flat? Most of the time we just throw them down. Our carriers just throw them down kind of on the doorstep. But this is very intentional. It's very obvious that this is supposed to go this way and not this way or this way it has an orientation. The flap itself does say lift to open, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. It opens, it had an adhesive on it to actually keep it closed so that um, in fulfillment it probably was just a tear off and actually close up. Opening it is fairly easy. I don't have to rip and destroy the package to do so. And inside I can see the items I ordered. Now, when this is empty, I can see how it would fold down and again, very similar to that lunch bag I keep referencing, it folds flat. That means it ships to Buy Humankind's distribution center like this. Think about how little space this takes up in storage in a distribution center. How much space a package takes up impacts its sustainability because more volume that the package takes up means more volume in trucks and ships and planes and trains and that also means more transit, more fuel used in transit, and then more storage as well. I ordered mouthwash tablets, um, cotton swabs, and a shampoo bar. They are all in the same type of paper finish. Everything uh, ripples out and matches, the same kind of craft color, and all of the same kind of dark green uh, type as well, dark green printing. There's some really beautiful illustrations on the um, carton material of this mouthwash. Uh, kind of shows me the glass with the mouthwash in it. Let me open this up. If I open the mouthwash, I can see that this is a reusable container, and the mouthwash tablets themselves are right in here, and I can replenish them. So by humankind is making some really distinct choices. 
this component is meant to keep. And so it is sturdier. Um, it is a piece that I actually am not meant to throw out. I could use this for years and years actually. Whereas this flimsier box, um, while perfectly uh, able to hold the container, to actually give me all the instructions, have give me the ingredients and social handles, etc. now I can just recycle this. So it doesn't need to be sturdy, it doesn't need to be bulky. My cotton swabs uh, come in this tube. This is all paper, so this component is actually recyclable as well. The cotton swabs are right in there, but this is beautiful and uh, sturdy enough for me to just set out on my countertop and use this item. When it's all used up, I can replenish these. I also can recycle this container because it is completely paper. And then you've got your bar of soap here, um, the shampoo bar. This is just directly in the piece of printed carton. So out of this entire package, this, 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 all of this can just be thrown into my blue bin and recycled when I'm done. When you order something from By Humankind, whether it be a deodorant or these mouthwash tablets, and you order this uh, durable container, they give you an option of colors. It's basically like choosing an accessory in your life. You're meant to keep it, you're meant to hold on to it. You could get a matching set of these containers. So that is part of the reason why there is a little hole on the top of this carton. So in fulfillment, they can just see through and see what color the component is to make sure they ship you the right one. On the mouthwash, it says what's inside. Mouthwash made with 100% clean ingredients, alcohol free for fresh breath without the burn, reinvented as a portable tablet to eliminate single use plastic and distributed in a refillable container. To order paper pod refills, visit buyhumankind.com. This product is not just beautifully packaged, doesn't just have a container that you're meant to keep, but it is a full on revolution. This is replacing these giant containers of big kind of single use plastics that we all use all the time for mouthwash. They're in hotel rooms, in our homes. This simple product is so small and yet so mighty. Imagine if all of us started using tablet-based mouthwash instead of those big bulky containers who were shipping so much water. Something that stands out to me about this packaging is how well the materials are color matched. This material is completely different as a material than this carton material for these little boxes and again is different from this tube material. All of these things need different manufacturing processes. You need a different machine to make a tube than you do to make a carton or an actual Euro tote bag but somehow all of them match really well. It takes a level of dedication and material selection in testing, um, in actually finding swatches and looking at color drawdowns of ink on the materials to get such a great match going. You can't just say, I'd like craft. Craft is not a single color, it's not a single Pantone, it's a genre of colors because it's actually just a name for a material that means that I want the raw color of the material made out of paper pulp. That's what craft means. And so therefore, in order to get crafts to match, there's often an extra level of diligence required. I like the small bits of copy that bring the brand message to life in little ways. My body, our planet. There's an entire um, kind of message flowing through this brand and through the packaging. So reminding you to zoom all the way back into the you part of like, this soap smells really good. And then all the way out to the abstract we part of the impact all of these products have. I think it might be time to roll in the recap. Humankind is doing some really interesting things as a brand, pushing the envelope. And here's three things I love about their packaging. First, it's inventive. This isn't even an envelope. This is a Euro tote style packaging turned into a lunch bag form factor with a resealable lip. I don't see this very often. Also, some of their products are actually made to be packaged in something you can reuse. So the packaging is in consideration when they're doing product development. Next up, detailed. The designers and procurement folks over at Buy Humankind are paying attention to everything. The color of the crafts on all the different materials match in a really expert way. The color of the inks for the green also match. Um, and the level of detail put into each component to develop it, because some of these are custom developed components, is really impressive. 
And last but not least, it's subtle. A lot of the things that bring this packaging to life is the fact that there's little call-outs, like this tiny, tiny, tiny BH, which stands for by humankind, right here on the flap, or the way that you can see the color through this tiny hole. This has been by humankind unboxed.